What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Mike from Slow Speed. Today, finally getting the car dynoed. Uh, we got it tuned by David Shoup, uh, VMHD, and we're gonna throw it on the dyno, and we're gonna see what kind of numbers it makes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get on this dyno, give you guys some numbers, and then I guess we'll talk a little bit after. All right, guys. Good. Oh. No longer wheelbase. looks like the car is shifting up because it's uh the transit slipping i guess torque convert whatever so, something's slipping and uh so good thing is it made 385 wheel at a lower rpm this one made it at 53 so if you look at it it made 388 at 59 whereas this made 385 at 53 same thing for uh torque's around the same it made picked up 20 extra pound feet of torque around the same rpm range right now we're on revision six listen just being here right now getting all this dyno stuff done i'm doing like my own little pulls or whatever i'm gonna tell you guys right now i don't want to hear anything i'm enjoying my car i don't even at this point i don't even care they're telling me trans might be slipping there's spinning on dyno man listen you keyboard warriors man take a break this is a lot of work this is a lot of work Put your car in the roller. Let's get some numbers, man. Cause we gonna get some numbers on this thing. We gonna turn it up. So right now I'm flashing the tune. The next, the, the map now. Uh, we run it leaner. We picked up 20 wheel uh, pound feet of torque, and we stopped it shorter. Made three horsepower less on like a uh, thousand less RPMs basically. So um, yeah, we are gonna try to crank this thing up to the moon. Hopefully the trans don't slip again and make it upshift. So we are gonna do this, and uh, yeah, we are gonna see what we can get out of it. Next episode of Mike's Janky Garage. I took off the took off the battery terminal, so hopefully I disconnect the battery, turn it back on, um, and see if we can go ahead and get um, it's going back dyno mode because it's not going back in dyno mode and it's upshifting early, which is killing the numbers. Spoke to David. What we're gonna end up probably doing is, you know, dialing in on this dyno session, dialing in the uh, fuel tables and the timing tables, and then do boost uh, at a later time, and uh, try to make some power. So, on with it. Look right here. I don't know if I told you guys, but we rock in 478 and 471 torque at uh, 4700 RPM. And this is a fifth gear, so if you look at it, I don't know what I just did. Touch the screen. Oh crap, I'm sorry. So if you take a look at it, we picked up 20 more pound feet of torque just by adjusting the timing. Uh, David went ahead and he said he threw another degree of timing. Now we haven't even touched boost yet, guys. It's just timing. We're gonna touch boost later. Also, I wanna let you guys know that uh, this is with no meth spray at all. So when we spray the meth in there, hopefully everything will get a little better. Uh, pardon me if I'm a little disheveled all over the place. This is a lot of work, very nerve-wracking. I'm actually running the dyno myself, which is kind of cool. So uh, if you guys ever get to experience this type of stuff, man, I, <laughs> yo, I suggest it 100%. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is one thing, and I'll make like little tips and little things before you go to the dyno because, yo, I was unprepared like always. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go in the inbox. I'm gonna grab the tune that he sent me. 
and load it up one extra degree of timing we'll see what that brings us uh, from the 471 torque and uh, yeah a nice little bump just timing 43 486 okay that's good it, it sound healthy too you know it don't like breaking up so let's see Look at here, just uh, one, one degree of timing. We went from 471 uh, torque to 43. Uh, at 4840 instead of 47. Not that bad, 40, 483 just timing. We haven't touched boost. And we have 46, we haven't touched boost. It's tapering at 19 pounds, bro. So, I'ma call David, see if we can crank up the boost a little bit, and see what we can make before we leave up out of here. I see how dynos could take hours, because I've been here, this, I'm on my third hour right now. Uh, yeah. They go about an hour. I'm gonna try to squeeze them into just pay, charge them for three hours. But uh, we're starting to dial in the boost just a tad bit because um, on the street it's making 22 pounds, on the dyno it's making 19. So it bumped up the boost just a tad bit to like 3%. Nothing crazy. Uh, we're gonna see how much we can get it on the rollers. Uh, we're gonna go on the street, tune, boost tune in for the street, and uh, throw it on a dyno with load and see how much we can get out of it. But right now, just just um, flash that. I'm about to start the car up. We're gonna do a pull. After some real successful dyno numbers, I'm gonna run by the shop, uh, speak to G and the guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this car clean because it did good today, it didn't blow up, and it's filthy. So, see you guys at the shop, then y'all know afterwards, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on uh, dyno in a car and everything like that, what are some of the goals, and you know, you know what you can expect. I went from a bag to a bag to a bag I remember me and mama used to ride the cab Pull up out the lot, no more lease, we pay cash Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jack That's that light work, flexing so much it hurt Used to rock him and dimes, now Versace it down my shirt I remember them days, we couldn't wait for the first Finally made me a meal, now we eating off the verse Yeah, but I remember being hungry Sardines, ramen noodles and macaroni had that wig cheese sandwich with fried bologna Don't want no pity, this part of my testimony Yeah, I probably coulda hit a lick with all my homies Instead I played it cool and sat at home all by my lonely You can go be stupid, I'd be fine with being phony Cause I seen how that worked out for Seti Byron and Joey Now my brother's serving life in a day Putting money on his books, gotta pray Both families still grieving for a loss Man, this is not a game you wanna Cause play Cause I went from a bag to a bag to a bag 
I remember me and mama used to ride the cab Pull up out the lot, no more lease, we paying cash Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jag That's that light work, flexing so much it hurt Used to rock heavy dimes, now Versace down my shirt I remember them days, we couldn't wait for the first Finally made me a meal, now we eating off the verse yeah. Tell me what's worse Being hungry or stealing that woman's purse Both of my parents, they suffer the family curse now as a father that got me on high alert That's how it works, that's how it works By 21 I should be 6 feet in the dirt Well, well, well Well, well, well Hope you guys can hear me clearly I got this little mic thing on again I like this thing Rode Wireless Go I put the link down below Along with the link down below of the camera equipment that I'm using at the moment GoPro Hero 7 With the mic adapter the Ulanzi uh, case and the GoPro handle thing. So this is my lightweight setup. Come outside, click a couple buttons. Everything charges up fairly quickly. You don't got the A6400 in the car, but eh, ain't trying to use that. First and foremost, I want to say I'm happy with the numbers, happy how much this car put down. I put the dyno sheet right here, but this car made 520 wheel horsepower and 498 uh, wheel pound feet of torque. Now, one of the things about dynos, you can put it on five different dynos, you'll get about five different numbers. So I'll go into a little bit more detail if you guys maybe want to replicate the number or kind of adjust it, whatever you want to do, right? So it was put on a dyno at Wayne Speed. So if any guys know Wayne Speed's dyno, there you go. It's a dyno jet. Uh, he has 3,000 pound rollers on it. Uh, it's an all wheel drive dyno, but we ran in a rear wheel drive, obviously. Rear wheel drive car. And um, there's, no, there's no adjustable load. So I was speaking to David Shoup and Wayne. We were gonna do fourth gear pulls. However, uh, something was going on with fourth gear. It kept up shifting to fifth. Uh, Wayne told me it was a trans slip in. Shoup told me, oh Shoup, David Shop, sorry. Shop told me that it, oh David. David told me that it was most likely the wheel slipping on a dyno. Uh, we went ahead and started dyno in fifth gear and it held all the way to red line. We put the car in dyno mode, turn on traction control, everything. That was fifth gear pulls. If you go to the dyno, to my knowledge, you know, if you go to the dyno and you run fourth gear pulls or, or third gear pulls or you adjust the load, any type of manipulation, you can get different numbers, higher numbers. However, listen, this is what it is. Uh, this video is more so for the game. So we came in there making about, I think, 388, uh, really low RPM because it was slipping. And we left making 520 wheel and fifth gear. So with that being said, we picked up a ton of horsepower in just the tuning. We haven't done the boost tuning. Uh, we we kind of flatlined at around 21 PSI. Uh, David felt that was safe because uh, the car might have overboosted on a street, um, depending on like I guess low differences, uh, rather than just running the 21 pounds like David planned out. 21 pounds of boost, we adjusted timing, we adjusted the fuel tables and everything. Shout out to my man David Shop. I call him Shoot. But a shop. Shout out to my man David Shop Tuning. Yo, you gotta go check him out. He pulled some crazy numbers out of this. Now this is MHD Tune. And many of you guys know I ran into a lot of issues. And I wanna chalk it up to I, I think it was just the tuner because David Shop did his thing and yo, the car pulls, hauls. And the number one thing I stress, I cannot stress this anymore. I don't care how much horsepower I'm making. 520, yeah, good, low, high, who knows? This car pulls smooth to red line. So fucking smooth to red line. It feels more smoother than the off the shelf maps, you know? Yo, I'm excited. I really am excited. This is actually the next morning. I had to get out here and film my thoughts because yesterday was jumbled up and I kind of explain to you guys why. Uh, I have a certain expectation of how I want the video to come out or have like a plan, right? On how I want the video to go, some of the things that I'm gonna say and everything like that. Yesterday, well, majority of the times it don't end up happening like that, but yesterday was whew, way left field. Your car's going on a dyno. You know, I try to listen out for every little hiccup because it's getting tuned. So you might need plugs, you might need something. Luckily, I just replaced the plugs and things of that nature on this car. Car's running in tip top shape. We had no hiccups, but you just never know, right? And I was actually running the dyno, like I was doing the pulls, you know, trying to capture footage for you guys, trying to talk to David, tune the car, you know, look at the logs, graphs, see where we need to adjust. And yo, 
is a lot for one person to do. And that's kind of where that led me, just rumbling around trying to get as much footage as I can for you guys, while at the same time trying not to blow up my car, uh, you know, while it's on the dyno, paying attention, listening, and also learning. I learned a lot yesterday with dyno tuning, a tremendous amount of information, just tuning in general. David was speaking his gibberish, you know, Wayne was speaking his gibberish, and. And I was just sitting there trying to pick up on like anything. This is like another language. And I'm happy to say, I mean, I kind of have an idea. I love to know. We're trying to figure out what was going on. I'm not gonna lie, I was upset. I didn't realize it was sp spinning or slipping like it was. And the car would not stay in fourth gear. And on top of that, um, Wayne didn't have like the team viewer. So we had to work out something, get an internet connection going so that David could see what was actually going on like remotely. Like initially I got in there and Dave was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tune this, something's going on with the car. Wayne told me the trans was slipping. I'm like, yo, listen, you know what? I'm already here, I got on the roller, just give me something. So Wayne's like, you know what, let's try fifth gear. Dave was like, all right, fine, fifth gear is cool. We did fifth gear, car ran the red line. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the car made more than 388 wheel or 350 wheel initially. I'm not gonna sit here and say it didn't. We just didn't know, so we don't know. And then David adjusted timing as well. So basically, uh, we first we ran it the first time, 350, ran it the second time, 388 at a lower RPM, but we picked up 20 pound-feet of torque. That was off David adjusting the timing, I think, two degrees. We realized that while we did make a gain, we really don't know because if you follow the chart, you can keep going up to kind of guesstimate how much power is making, but with the wheels spinning, we really had no idea. Fifth gear, we jumped up to 479. So in all reality, we say we picked up 100 wheel, but we don't really know because the dyno, I mean, because the car hooked that time. So that was fifth gear, right? After that, David went ahead and told me I might want to fire up the meth uh, just for cooling. So turn on the meth, we start spraying. Right off the bat, we went from like 485 to I would say like 510 or something like that. Yeah, about like 510. Just spraying the meth, cooling down. Because David was like, yo, listen, what kind of fans you got going? Your IATs are like 120. Let's get them down. We turn on the meth boost juice mixture and the IATs drop 40 degrees like instantly. But what he went ahead and did was crank up the boost about I think 3% he said. I'm not sure percent of what, but he just turned up some kind of numbers set factor, I forget. He turned it up about 3% and um, the car made 516 and then 520 wheel and 498 torque, which I'll show you guys all in the graphs. And uh, that's kind of where we left the car. The car was running really, really good. And David said that once we start playing with the boosts, getting a little higher from 21 pounds, uh, staying a party. So I'm happy with the numbers, to be all the way honest with you. 520 wheel is amazing because it's wheel horsepower. That is horsepower to the wheels. And on Wayne's Dyno, there's no trickery, there's no jokes. You know, you can't adjust the low and make it higher, lower. I'm not knocking anybody that does it, but what I'm saying is these are the real deal numbers. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna close it out. Mike from Soul Speed. Peace out.